Well, hey there, YouTube. How's everybody doing out there today? Coming to you on uh, Wednesday from South Alabama, and the weather is absolutely stunning out there. Not a cloud in the sky, high of about 63 today. Um, just perfect, perfect before the warm weather gets here. We've already had a taste of it, and spring's going to be here before we know it. Um, so today we're going to talk about the best plant-based strategy to strengthen the immune system and our overall health. Um, the immune system, I've really been, uh, we're going to talk about the gut again today. Um, I've really been diving into the gut. Um, I'm still, I'm taking my time going through fiber fuel because I like to read and I'm actually going to a car, his corresponding site and checking out some of his references. We'll talk more about that in a minute. I'm going to give you a link to... Um, to like where the references in that book comes from. But um, I think I've, I've mentioned it on here before, but the gut microbiome is home to 70% of our immune system. Yes. So this is why this is definitely our second brain down here. And it just blew my mind. I knew gut health had a lot to do with immune health, but it's only probably been recently, the last couple of months, that I actually knew that 70% 70 70 of our gut microbiome is home to or the gut microbiome is home to 70% of our um, um, immune system. Um, and that's what protects us against um, infection and malignancy. And not just in our gut, like I say, I'm learning. I've just taken a deep dive into everything about the gut from Dr. Bulsevitz and the, and the book Fiber Fueled. And, you know, I realized, you know, you get your gut in order and something, and, you know, it feels good to have better digestion, but I just didn't realize the scope of how much the gut affects so many different issues from our skin to cancers to just to everything about us. Just, to, you know, it's, it's all about these little microbes in our bodies that were not even, I think a lot of the gut microbiome has only been charted and learned about since the early 2000s, if I'm right on that, but I can't say that for 100%. And it's also, here's a statement from, and I'll tell you who said it, the single greatest predictor of a healthy gut bi microbiome is the diversity in, of plants in one's diet. And that's according to Dr. Rob Knight of the American Gut Project which is the largest study of microbiomes in the world to date. Um, yeah, it's just, just learning more and more. And there is that, there's some, something about that number. They have done studies too, and that kind of became the number, you know. Definitely it's good to get more, but always try to kind of shoot for, uh, you know, 30 per week, 30 different uh, food, uh, plant-based foods per week. And there's, e there's easy ways to get that in because he's also talking about what counts as that is herbs and spices. I use garlic. Um, I'll tell you something I've started doing over the last couple of months or last month or two is I tend to, I'll sprinkle, I'll sprinkle turmeric, black pepper, and ginger, uh, powdered ginger on a lot of the different foods that I'm just using. I'll just sprinkle some on there. The black pepper uh, with the turmeric because it makes the turmeric more absorbable, but they're right there just all, all the time, all the time throughout the week using those. I'm using garlic in various different things. You know, when I have a, um, when I have my acai bowls or like this morning, I just had a nice cream bowl with some fruit on top of it. Um, a lot of times I'll count like how many different things I have in my acai bowl and it's easy for me to get seven or eight, sometimes nine different things in there because I'll have the, for the base, I'll have the bananas, the acai, and then I will top it with say, sometimes I'll top it with three fruits. I'll put a small amount of walnuts on there. I'll put some hemp seeds on there. And yeah, you can just pack those things and you can do it the same with your salads. And you know, for the people that don't eat any cooked food, with the cooked food, you can just put a lot of different things you know, mix them in there. Um, but yeah, those that eat 30 plants per week have better gut health than those that eat the same 10 over and over. So that's something that struck me too. It's not about, you could be eating the 10 best top foods on the planet, but you're just not feeding that gut uh, diversity. And that's what, you know, I've also too, that's where those cravings come from. There's, I forget the amount of, um, I'd over-exaggerate if I even said the amount of these little microbiota, biota, 
microbiomes in the in the gut. I'll, I'll use, I'm not a professional. I'm just kind of going on things I hear and things I write down. So I could misquote one of the names, but the concept is there. But um, yeah, like everything we put into our body feeds a different microbe. And it's simple as that. When you're eating, there, yeah, there's microbes in our gut that thrive on uh, junk food. So they're wanting that junk food and they're crying out for that junk food. Junk food, junk food, give me junk food. Um, I tell you, I wanted to also throw in there because I'm always talking about uh, Dr. Bulsevitz, which is definitely my number one source on everything about gut, which also translates over like fiber fueled after listening to as many talks as I've listened to by him on the exam room uh, podcast and other podcasts, Rich Roll, I've probably listened to, like I say, I've listened to him speak at least 20, 25 times. And sometimes I will listen to different podcasts over and over. But this book might be the number one book I would recommend to people on a plant-based diet because it goes beyond the gut. Because if you're doing these things, if you're focused on this gut health, the other stuff is going to, um, the, the rest of the health stuff will come from that. Um, but um, there's a couple of um, uh, female doctors that I've also listened to talk. I think one's a doc, she's a doctor, but she's a um, dietitian um, who also I've learned a lot from too. One is Dr. Robin uh, Chutkin, Chutkin, and she's uh, the author of a book called um, Gut Bliss the microbiome solution, and the bloat cure. She really focuses on the bloating. Well, I mean, Dr. Bolsovitz does too, but, you know, these books are really good for not, you know, for people like me who haven't had a lot of digestive issues. I'm more focused on my overall health, my overall wellness. But for people that have dealt with bloating and stuff, I've dealt with it, and it sucks. I feel for people that deal with that. So they also have specific stuff for the gut that you can kind of work through this bloating. And I've pretty much, uh, from listening to these types of folks, um, there's very few digestive issues you cannot work through. Sometimes, um, especially if you haven't followed a plant-based diet or if this stuff is new to you, your intuition on things to eat when you have a bad gut is not necessarily always right. And a lot of times, you know, even think like people will find something that makes their stomach uncomfortable or makes their digestion uncomfortable, whether you're eating cooked, whether it's legumes or whether it's cruciferous or whether it's very simple things. And their their solution to that is just eliminate the food. Whereas he, I like the way he he, he um, proposes and several of these doctors propose that you don't just eliminate that, you figure out a way to repair that gut biome and you, you work them in. Maybe you have to eat smaller amounts. Maybe you have to eat little by little until you can build up to where you're doing this. And sometimes as you're switching over, maybe you're new to this lifestyle, as you're switching over, you're not gonna just start, like nobody's gonna tell you something and the next day you're bloating gas, issues are going to go away. Sometimes you have to work through it. You have to find out what it is that's uh, your problem. Sometimes you have to do an elimination diet. Sometimes you have to, you know, like I say, you have to play it. You have to figure out what works for your particular microbiome. But I would, like I say, I know I kind of like just keep raving and raving all about the gut and especially Dr. Bulsevitz and people like this, but definitely recommend that you um, check some of this stuff out because for me, it's, it's the most important stuff I've learned in coming up on 11 years on a plant-based diet. Um, so the lady, like I said, Dr. Robin Chutkin, uh, Dr. R-O-B-Y-N-N-E, Chutkin, C-H-U-T-K-A-N. And the next one is a woman named uh, Dr. Megan, Megan. Somebody pronounced it that, I don't know, but it's Megan, M-E-G-A-N Rossi. Um, and she's got some great information too. And like I say, all these talks are free. Um, the exam room, there's probably just on the exam room, you could go to the exam room, site, search Dr. Bulsevitz. There's multiple talks by him. There's multiple talks by um, Dr. Uh, Chutkin. And I think there's doc, multiple talks by Dr. Rossi. And check out some of the ones by Dr. Neil Barnard while you're there. There's so much good free information out there. Just take it. But Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. 
Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you here either tomorrow or Friday. Peace.